Hello again, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really, really exciting video and this is something that I'm super hyped about. And about a month ago, I went onto Amazon and I ordered three different boxes of Degashi sweets or Degashi. So basically, these Degashi means like uh, a childhood sweet and it is usually a cheap sweet in Japan and children associate it with their childhoods and if your mother, when you're very small, will give you some money, you can go down to a Degashi store and you can pick up a lot of different kinds of little sweets um, because they're all pretty cheap. So in America, I suppose you'd have things like penny sweets and here in Ireland, I suppose you'd have things like local shops where you can pick up all different kinds of small sweets, which are quite cheap. And as well with Japanese types of sweets, you can also find that lots of them have games like stickers in them when you open up a little candy or they could have just little exciting things for children to look at whereas here I think it's just the logo, you know, the plain design and you get the sweet and that's what you're getting but sometimes in Japan you can get stickers or you can get specific characters or there's little games or different ways to eat these kinds of sweets. So this is my first time ever trying any Japanese sweets. When I was in secondary school or high school, um, I would go down to my Asian store and you know, you buy Pocky and I suppose, what else do you buy? Cheap noodles and ramen and all that kind of stuff. But I've never really had um, Dagashi sweets before. So, <sighs> we're gonna see what I think of them. I've never done a taste test either. You know, I really wanted to try this. Here we are. So the sweets that I got today, I got two boxes and I have one box for the next video and it hasn't arrived yet. And then I have this box that came first. So it has pictures of all these different kinds of sweets you can get in this specific box called Sushi Candy. But I don't think that it's determining that you're definitely gonna get all of these. So maybe there'll be things in my box that definitely won't be on this list. And I haven't showed you the box. It's very cute. This is the box and I have close-ups of it and it says in this you get 20 different pieces of sweets and I paid 13 pounds for this, uh, shipping included, and here it is. Everything's delicious, let's just get into it. I'm actually kind of nervous because I saw there was squid in there and personally I've never tried squid before. So maybe I'll do savory stuff first. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna bite the bullet, that's the one. And I'm gonna go straight away for the tiny piece of, um, it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely squid because they, they have a little cartoon and I'll, I'll do like a little zoom in there. It has a texture to it. Oh my God, it literally smells like fish food. Oh, I'm oh, it smells like fish food. So this is dried out squid. Oh my God, this is so tough. I really don't like this. This is really bad. I don't know why I'm still eating it. I'm just gonna put this away. That was, that was really bad. Um, I just don't think as a Westerner, I'm like used to that flavor. And I don't think I'll be trying it again, even though I love fish. That was, that was not good. So everything else is gonna be so much better now because I started off really bad. <sighs> not good. Zero out of ten. Would not eat again. Ever. So the next thing I have here is some crisps, I suppose, or some, what you call them? Potato chips. And I have a feeling this is Sapporo potato vegetable snack. I have to be careful to open the packages when I'm not talking. These seem safe. These seem safe, not like fish. Okay, so these are just little, little chips. And, um, they don't really smell like vegetable. They smell kind of salty. Savory, savory, salty. Mmm. What do they remind me of? Oh, okay. These taste just like um, kind of vegetable oil. So palm bears would be the exact equivalent here in Ireland anyway. And I think palm bears is an English thing, but you definitely have palm bears. That's all this tastes like. This is very pleasant, much nicer than the eel. That's all I'm gonna say. 10 out of 10. Okay, this is 10 out of 10. This is very nice, would eat again, 10 out of 10, would buy these. What I have written on Umaibo is that it's a corn puff or a stick, which also means delicious stick. So umai is like delicious, and then bo, does that mean stick maybe? I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure this might be a corn flavored one. 
So the options that you have in this box, I have gotten four umaibo and what you can get is maybe one of them's a sugar flavor, one of them's yakitori, um, I'm not quite sure what that is, takoyaki, which is octopus balls, and then uh, just a corn snack, so it tastes like corn. I think this is the corn one, it says corn potage, so I'm not sure what potage means, but um, it's corn. Okay, so this looks like a little uh, puff of something, like what, what do people have? Cheetos in America? They're like a crispy sweet. We have Monster Munch here in Ireland. Mmm, that's really nice. It's like a really, really sweet corn in the cob. Mmm, I didn't think I'd love these, but these are just like a really, really soft, soft snack. That is bomb. I, chill, I don't, children must love these. These are so good. And it's just like a big, long chip it's just it's lovely i really like that 10 out of 10. maybe i'll put like a little rating system 10. that is so nice i'm gonna try this one next and it's this taco and i suppose takoyaki is the octopus balls is taco mean octopus i'm not quite sure and it has a little cartoon of an octopus and he's beating up the little character here who's on all the sticks and he's got lots of arms with boxing gloves on it that is adorable Ooh, this one's very dark mm, oh my god this smells so good this smells like Monster Munch here in Ireland. This smells just like Monster Munch. This does not taste fishy at all. I didn't think I'd like this as much. This is like Monster Munch here, um, but even sweeter again here in Ireland. 10 out of 10. That's really nice. All these in my bowl are really umai. <laughs> So the next one I'm going to try from the Umaibo is the B-A-A-A-A-N ban and maybe that's like a word saying kick because he's kicking a ball. I'm not quite sure. And because I was tasting savory sweets, I was like, oh, I'll go for one of these. So this tastes just like caramel. I can see how children like this one too. It's really yummy. Uh, this is definitely a sweet one, not a savory one. That's all I have to say. It's a caramel kind of toffee flavor. It's really nice. It's really, really nice. And then the last one that I'm gonna go with is this one with pictures of chicken and the little character is eating sticks of rolled up meat. So this could be chicken or it could be like a beef flavor. I don't really know. It could be the, I think it's the yakitori flavor of them. This one again. Okay, so this tastes like soy sauce initially but then you get a kind of barbecue flavor so when he's eating the meat stick i think it's supposed to taste like it was just freshly grilled like some of the food you'd get in market stalls yeah that's nice that's all the umaibo for this box all the umaibo i'd give them at least 10 out of 10 i'd eat all of them again they're so yummy uh the sapporo chips 10 out of 10 that squid zero out of 10. It's not okay. It's zero out of 10. Never again. These ones, I think it's yakisoba san taro. And I think taro means piggy. Uh, yakisoba then is a type of noodle dish you can get. These look like little pieces of coconut noodles uh, with a flavoring on them. I don't, I don't think I like these. It tastes like the fat off rashers or bacon, but with raw noodles and then someone threw the powder over it. If it was a crisp or a chip, maybe it'd be nicer, but I don't, <laughs> I don't like that one either. That's getting a two out of 10. That's so bad. I'm sorry, I'm really dramatic right now, but that is not good. I don't like that one at all. This one's called Halloween Pateco, corn ring snack, chestnut and pumpkin potage flavoring. So I think this is a little, Halloween edition. They have little ghosts and it says have a good evening and it's translated into English. It's some Japanese writing. They got a little ghost and I think it's just a Halloween pumpkin flavor. This is just a little a little circular hoop. It's almost like a hula hoop. It's exactly like a really teeny tiny hula hoop. It's like the exact same. I can't really tell what flavor it is. It's kind of just sweet and pleasant. It doesn't really have a flavor but it's nice. I'd eat those if I was small. I like it, I'd eat those again. Six out of 10. I don't know why I went for a six. So it's just a little bit ahead of the five because I feel five is too cutthroat. So it's a six, six out of 10. So I have Ann Panman and these are caramel corn and I've seen these before. I think these are a really well-known Japanese brand. Yeah, just a caramel corn. 
And we don't really have anything like this in Ireland, I don't think. I can't think of anything similar. Oh my God, I'm so weak. <laughs> they look like this, little puffs. Oh, I've never had a tato like that before. Or a, a crisp. I've never had a crisp like that before. They're so soft, they just melt straight away in your mouth. Hmm. The crisp on the inside is so soft and I've never had anything like that before. But then the flavor is exactly like the topping you'd put on toffee popcorn. So caramel, toffee, that's really nice. That's an easy thing to eat, super child friendly. I get you, Japan. Mmm, that's so good. I give that a 10 out of 10. <laughs> so now we're officially onto all the sweet stuff. So we have this one here, and this just says chocolate pie. So it looks like this. It's a lot harder though. I thought this would be like a puff pastry. And then the chocolate on the inside is hard. I thought it would be very soft and soft pastry. There's a lot of eating in that one. Oh. A new flavor has come, come to town. Oh, that's very pleasant. <laughs> yeah, that just, that's, that's weird. That's like a pie crust. It's a little harder than you think it's going to be, but when you're eating it, it breaks down and is really a very soft pie crust, which is interesting. The flavor on the inside, the chocolate is very nice. I really did enjoy that. That was a flavor. I can't tell you what flavor that is. I think it's just like, a, again, like a sweet caramelly flavor. Very good, loved it, enjoyed it. I'm gonna keep going. So the next few things are all kind of small sweets. This one is a marshmallow. The name of a guy from Bleach, maybe, Ichigo, which means strawberry, daifuku. But it says marshmallow filled with strawberry paste. Okay, that's pretty explanatory. I think I will be able to figure out what I'm gonna be eating. Oh, it's so cute, soft. Our marshmallows aren't like this. It's very, um, it like saves your uh, print when you squish in it. The inside has a very artificial strawberry taste. It's not a liquid like I thought it would be. It's kind of just like a little gel or something put in. It's nice. It reminds me a lot, the paste on the inside anyway, reminds me of the pink koala bear sweets or koala bear snacks you can get in the Asian stores where I live. I enjoyed it. Love it. Okay, so the next thing I pulled out before my camera cut off was called Ao Ringo Mochi. I don't know if I pronounced Ao Ringo right but we're just gonna go with it. And this doesn't really seem like mochi. It seems a lot tougher, but it just says apple flavored candy made from rice cake. This is in a really cute little container and it has a little cover on the container. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, and then it comes with a little stick like this. Okay, and I suppose what you're supposed to do is press one of these there's definitely not a lot of flavor from these. It kind of just tastes like gum or gummy candies. It's like a very mild apple flavor um, coated in sugar. I'm not sure if I really love that. I'd give that a five out of 10. It's pleasant, but I don't love it. So it's going in the middle somewhere, five out of 10. Okay, so the next thing I'm actually really nervous about trying, but I just have to go and I have to eat it. But this is a dried plum without seed. And it has like this really, really cute little face on it as well. I don't like the smell of this thing. Oh, it feels like so soft. It feels like a little piece of skin. It just smells like a fig. I don't like this at all. <laughs> oh, that's bad. That is super salty. It's on my teeth and it won't go away. <laughs> well, that's not good at all. It tastes like metal, like salty metal. If you licked a salty piece of metal. No, wouldn't eat that again. Zero out of ten. I'll give it to my parents. I'll say, do you want to try this Japanese sweet? It's so delicious. And they'll be like, oh, oh, it's a piece of fruit. That's nice. And they'll eat it and be like, uh, uh, uh. And I only had like this much of it. Okay, so the next thing I pulled out are these sugar candies. Uh, I'm pretty sure... These are just tiny bits of rock candy. Oh, I can't read this either. Konpetu, Konpetu, I think I pronounced that wrong. This is a flower shaped sugar candy. I think these are like little pieces of sugar and you could even put these into your tea as like a little sugar cube. I know that I've seen these before in Spirited Way, the Ghibli film. These are just tiny pieces of sugar and I know these are super traditional in Japan. And let's try it. Tastes like sugar, everyone. Who would have known? We have this one, and this is soda bubble candy. 
This feels like I'm opening up a uh, Dispirin. It feels like some medicine. Wait, do I just put this on my mouth or do I put this in a drink? It's bubbling, you can, you can hear it. That's very pleasant. I give that a six out of 10. That's cool. I like that, that's, that's interesting. Still reminds me of medicine though. So I'm gonna go for the one that doesn't seem the best. This one here. Ooh, why are people eating this? I really don't like this one. Oh my god, no. One out of 10. It's just sweet ginger. Nope, I don't like that flavor. I can see old men eating that. You know, sucking on a ginger piece of candy. Ginger's very good for your stomach. Helps you digest food. If you've got a sick tummy, ginger's really good for you. That's not nice. And I won't eat it again. And then the last two are, I think, chewing gum as well. I think this might just be a Coca-Cola chewing gum. Ooh, one for the weebs. This one is a Naruto's Kids anime chewing gum. Maybe this is for the launch or something. Okay. Oh wait, that has something on the inside. If I spoke Japanese, this would be very cool. It has a little screaming man on the inside. Then there's a, oh, it's so cute. There's like a little, oh, there's just a little piece of like tape in here surrounding the gum. And there's a little devil showing me his butt and then a little skeleton dude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is for, like Halloween characters. Maybe they look not like this. Oh, that's really cute. I really like this. And then the gum is kind of, down in two pieces so if you're a kid I suppose you could break it off and then share some with your friend they're really nice that's a really mild flavor that's cool that's cute I'll stick that somewhere Hooray! and then the last thing I have in here is just a cola piece of candy I figured this is gonna taste like cola Ooh, it's coated in a powder I thought this was gonna look a bit different Maybe you're supposed to put this into a drink? No, I'm pretty sure maybe you put this on water. I put some water in my mouth. And there's no description of it, so I think it was just a little extra one thrown in for free. I don't know what I thought of that one. That one was like, it was all right. It wasn't spectacular. I wouldn't buy it. Three out of 10. It was weird. These were really nice. I'm really glad I bought them and I'm really excited to see what the other candy company sends in their box but all in all I really enjoyed this box I'd highly recommend getting sushi candy I'll put the link to the Amazon uh, page below that's the end of my video we're officially finished my little box um, I'm really happy with this box it was 10 out of 10 